Hey everyone, how's it going? Sam here from Pocket Studios again, welcoming you back to some more Pokemon Fusions in 3D. I know last episode I did say, oh, hey guys, leave your suggestions in the comments. Well, basically with Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee coming out, I want to kind of stick to Generation 1 Pokemon. So if you have any suggestions for Generation 1 Pokemon, leave those in the comments. But for now, we're going to be fusing these two beautiful monsters, Flareon and Raichu. Obviously, because I did Pikachu and Eevee last time, I was like, hey, let's just do Raichu and something else. I thought a blue Raichu would look a bit odd. And Jolteon, there's pretty much no point fusing them, they're both electric, right? Anyway, I picked Flareon, we're gonna give this a go. Probably gonna come out looking like Gorichu with the cool scarf thing, so it should be good. As always, the first thing we're gonna do is just change the color. That's actually come out looking really cool. I don't know if I want to change that big white spot in the middle, because on Raichu it's there. Flareon doesn't really have any other color schemes I can like put it to. It actually looks pretty much identical to the shiny texture. Okay, the one on the left is the one that I did by changing the color to Flareon. The one on the right is the shiny texture. There's a slight color difference, but for the most part, it's, it's the exact same. I didn't really mean to do that. I don't really want it to look like a shiny Raichu. I think we'll I think we'll try and make it a bit of a brighter orange. Okay, basically I've repeated the process of replace color a few times and it's made it a darker shade of orange, I think. Looks a bit more like Flareon's color. We're gonna go with that one. Uh, if it still looks a lot like the um, shiny version, then my bad. I didn't really know shiny Raichu looks so much like Gorichu. Maybe that's where they got the idea from. Pretty cool, actually. That's kind of worked. It's similar enough. Look, if you put them next to each other, they just kind of blend into one, which is what we want. The face obviously looks dumb. That always happens because of the way the texturing works. So whenever I edit the Pokemon, I always edit their texture, but I've just figured the, the textures for all the Pokemon eyes and mouths are the exact same size. So surely if I just just literally swap the UV image map from where it's getting its texture from, it should work, right? Let's try it. Okay, that looks pretty funny. <laughs> I mean, it worked. That worked really well. But uh, there's a really slight color difference. I'm going to have to edit that. Well, it's pretty funny, though. I'm going to do the exact same for the mouth. If I do it this way every time, that's going to save me so much time. I mean, that one didn't really work, but it's close enough, right? I'm just going to edit this UV map real quick. But either way, this works like a million times better. Look at how much better that looks. Instead of editing the textures like an idiot, because I always mess that up pretty much. I don't know if I want it on that face or if I want it on, um, good old smiley just a regular little smile i'm really happy i suddenly thought of that i don't know why i haven't thought of it before but it's a good idea well now that the face is down i don't really have to bother with textures anymore i guess we'll just decimate this raichu and make it look like garbage probably and then we'll just fix it afterwards by putting some ears and and fluff on good plan the ears have been removed it looks really odd without anything on his head it's like a, i don't even know like a really little chubby chubby guy they look so cute still. Now we gotta grab Flareon's ears. Um, I'm really hoping they're like all vertex grouped. Because selecting all this stuff individually is gonna be a pain. Flareon's gonna start to look really dumb now. Just taking ears off stuff um, just makes them look weird. That actually, those ears look so much, when they're off of Flareon, do you not think they look like the Nidoran ears? Oh, I really think that they do. What am I making here? It's so strange. It does look pretty strange so far, but not gonna lie. It's pretty clean. I'm pretty happy with how it's going. Like, it looks... It doesn't look messy like a lot of the stuff I make. Flareon's head hair as well. It's so cool. Like, it looks like a little flame. I mean, I know it's supposed to, but I just think that that's awesome. Just whack that on there. Looks looks a little bit weird from the front, actually. Not gonna lie. In perspective mode, it looks fine in perspective mode. That's, that's what matters. Okay, let's read just this final fluff ball to add. I don't know if I want to change the tail. I think I want to leave the tail the same. This Raichu's tail is pretty, pretty zappy and cool, and I've got a lot of fluff on it. Like, if I just put Flareon's tail on there, it would just be like an upright standing Flareon. It just end up looking the same, right? So we're gonna keep Flareon's tail on Flareon. Thank God for vertex groups. Oof, makes it so much easier. Cool, and it's just whack that there. It looks like he's holding it. Awesome. <laughs> oh my God, I was supposed to put it around the neck, but look at that. Ooh, it's like he's got like a furball around his, I don't even know. I don't think it's going to really go around his face how I want it to. Uh, Raichu's like tall, tall and fat, 
and very thick around his neck, but there's not much of a gap between his arms. But I don't think I can actually fit it between it, which is kind of annoying. Can we just appreciate Flareon without any fur whatsoever? It looks like a... It just looks strange. Interesting. It looks it looks a bit like a Charmander dog. If, if Charmander was a dog, th this is it. Literally all that's left to do for this fusion is just try and work out where to put this ball of fluff. Because it looks really strange kind of wherever it goes. That looks like it's wearing a weird, like, crop top thing. I'm basically just trying to get it so that it's not touching the arms. Because I don't really want it over the arms. But that looks really cute. It looks a little bit like a wiggly tuff. But it's a Flareon and a Raichu. Oh, I love this one. Just gonna pose it as well real quick, actually. Always gotta put it in a dank pose for... I don't even know, school effect, whatever. Rambling, again. Posed it, it looks kind of odd. Also, really weirdly happy with how this one's gone as well. So, I'm not, just the pose maybe isn't great. One issue is, is... Half of this Raichu's tail isn't rigged. I could probably re-rip it or just re-rig it. Just can't really be bothered. Just for like a tiny little bit of the pose. So that's why it looks so rigid just sticking out the back. So sorry about that. There we go. I've finished it. One final thing I did was I just changed the texture of the tail to the same color as the fur. I just thought it looked better than having a weird orange tail. Looks kind of nice and creamy. Matches the color scheme, I guess. Super happy with this fusion, though. Looks so cool. It's kind of got, like, hints of wiggly tuff in there, I think, as well. Just like, ugh. Really feeling this one. The way I swapped the eye texture out as well, and the mouth, just by literally changing the texture, seems like the most obvious thing now. I don't know why I've never done that before. Gonna do that every single time in the future. Worked super well, looks super clean, the ears seem to fit on, just everything about this seems to work in my opinion. Really happy with it, so I hope you guys like it as well. Let me know what you think of it down in the comments. Also try give it a name. I suck at naming these things. I guess we'll just call this one like... Right, Flat Flarichu. Right, Ryan. Good names, 10 out of 10. Name them in the comments, because you guys are always better at it. Let me know what you think of it. Also, suggest some more Generation 1 Pokemon for next week's episode. If you enjoyed the video as well, please feel free to leave a little like down below. Helps me out. And if you want to see more stuff like this every week, subscribe. Anyway, I believe that is everything for today. So thank you all again so much for watching, and I will see you next time.